soul but new in a way it's just been so much pain in my life Uji, for the last five years I lost my husband and I lost my son and it's been so difficult I don't know You can be more than who you were. Sometimes uh, something must come to some mm, uh, beyond any shape that you have held to be yourself. Something is greater than this. Let the let the, the life of your 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 husband and your son take the darshan of that because it is to bring you into the fullness of yourself. So honour their life by finding yourself. This would be good. Don't grieve for them. You don't help. Honour their life by discovering yourself, coming fully to your own self. I miss them so much, Uchi. Yes. 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 Many of us here in this place know what you feel. But this is a mighty existence. And there are endings which are not endings but beginnings as well. So take courage from that, don't uh, despair. Don't despair. Because nothing in this world that you see is permanent. Everything is changeful. Don't think it is wrong for these changes to happen. Nothing belongs to you. And yet everything is you. journey seems to be a long one. Yes. Only when viewed through the mind. When, you, when viewed through the mind, there comes even a journey even. And yet the Self, there is no distance. As you come again into the full discovery of the True, uh, all our ideas are exploding into paradoxes. <clears throat> you see. Yeah. Don't despair about it. You see. Uh, something find that find that while your body is warm. Find that which is undying in you. And this is the opportunity, isn't it? Find that which is imperishable in you. Then you have used your life well. How do I find it, Muji? How do I find it? Yes. How do I find it? Well, at least you know what it is not. Everything that you can see, everything that you can see, uh, is just a play of time. It is fine. Nothing to curse, not distasteful. It is just that this is the facet of being that is changeful. Hmm? The aspect of ourself, which is the body, belongs to time, and as such it is changeful. 
Also, mind is also time and it is subject to change. But that in whose presence the mind and the body and its function and their functions are perceived, that is without time. Will you hear this though? Will you hear? Will you permit yourself to hear this though? You see, don't cling, don't cling only to conditioning. Drink uh, deeply uh, what you are hearing. Hmm? The body is in time. It is like a burning candle. Mind also is time. But that which witnesses the body and the mind and its play, see if there is time there. You can do it now. I want you to prove it now. We are going to be, I think, the last person to speak today, so you have a good chance now. You can see the body is changing. The mirror tells you your body is changing. Your friends tell you your body is changing. Hmm? Your feelings tell you your body is changing. It is changing and it is fine. It has always changed. The body of Christ also changed. All the bodies are changing. Hmm? Mind also is not stable. It is always changing. Your idea you have of who you are is always changing also. Isn't it? The idea we have of who we are is always changing. How you felt when you were 15 years old and when you were 20 or 25, they are different, different images, different identities are there. And so it continued to roll along through the years, changing, changing, you see. Hmm? What witnesses all these changes? If everything in you was changeful, you would not know even change. You would not know change. You know change because something is unchanging from where change is perceived. You are not merely the body mind. Weaknessing of the body mind is the power in you. And it is here. How can it be missed? Just don't try to give it a shape, don't give it a name, don't give it a form. It is not gender. Don't be lost in suffering. And don't make anniversaries out of your pain. Look. Because the power is in you to look and look now. Don't look later, look now. Hmm? All that you see, as I said, is transient, play of time. Isn't it? Who can refute that? And mind also is not constant. It is also passing. What weakness is mind? What weakness is thought? What weakness is emotion? What weakness is relationship? What witnesses even the sense I in all its various shapes and modes? It is being perceived. From where? I don't want the answer because it will quickly turn into a concept. The fact is already there that they are perceived. If they are perceived, can that which perceived them be perceived? Everything is perceivable – thoughts, emotion, time, change, objects, relationships – all is perceivable. All is perceivable. That which perceived them, can that be perceived? I don't want you to as I said I don't want to I don't want to hear the answer I want to see the answer I want to meet the answer
who are you? You say, I miss my husband. You miss the farm of your husband and the memory of your husband. Yeah. These were perishables. There is something in your husband, playing as husband, which is not husband. It is imperishable. The same thing is in you. Don't just seek remedy for a sore heart. Use it to find that uh, which is imperishable. Are you hearing what I'm speaking, or should I tone it down? As we speak and as we listen, it is pointing directly to, to that which cannot be described in you. If you give it to your mind, your mind will only want something that it can measure. It is always looking for something that has a texture or a shape or a size. Because mind is like in a way functions as the instrument for measuring change, variety and for interpreting. And it cannot interpret that which is. The very act or the intention of the mind to interpret or to measure itself is perceived in that which is immeasurable. Do you understand this inside your heart or not? Then you must honour what you see. Don't look for another remedy that your mind is projecting. What do you want? To bring your husband back? Would you want this? I just want to find my true nature, Muji. Very good. You are in the right place then. What stops you from finding it right now? My busy mind. Busy mind does not stop you. Busy mind does not stop you. Let the mind be busy. Let the mind be busy. You are not going to be found in the busyness and the business of the mind. Let's be clear about it. We use a lot of excuses. My mind is so busy. Well, it's, you're not going to be found in your busy mind. Let busy mind be busy. Hmm? That which is aware of busy mind, but is not caught up in the traffic of busy mind and busy thinking. Do it. Take me seriously just for one minute. Follow what I'm speaking. Hmm? You say your busy mind stops you. I say, no, it does not stop you. In fact, you cannot be stopped. You cannot be stopped. Anyway, you are not going anywhere to be stopped. What can get in the way? Something can only get in the way if you are going somewhere. So tell me another reason, another thing. Why are you not yourself then? I am not saying you are not, but why you think you are not yourself? What stops you? I don't know, Muji. I really genuinely don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the belief that you are something other than what you are takes over, appears to. <laughs> By all means, it, it is fine and is fine and healthy to feel grief for the loss of your family. This is a natural thing. Hmm? But you need not identify. You are not going to recognize the truth by being a wife. Holy, I am a wife 
There's no wife truth. There's no husband truth. Sometimes I think only these things are, you know, you can sell these things in America. <laughs> consciousness for women and consciousness for men. Consciousness for teenagers. They love these type of concepts. I'm sorry, we have a lot of American friends and Sangha. They will also understand what I'm speaking. But the mind will do it, isn't it? Hmm? It will sell you a book on emptiness, you know, eh? empty pages, and it will sell well also because something is up for it. Ah, look, is there, have you read the book on emptiness? Have you bought it? It's got nothing to say. Hmm? Nothing stops you from yourself. This is just a very crooked idea. Nothing stops you from yourself. The fascination for an idea we call ourself, an involvement with that, a belief in that, a faithfulness and a loyalty to this idea, eh, keeps us preoccupied being something you are not. And that will make you feel, yes, yes, you know, why can't I realize this? I want to realize yourself. And I said, no, you don't. Almost every sentence I speak, I pointed to it. Almost every sentence I speak, I point to this. And you look like goldfish. <laughs> so what, 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 what can be done? Now she's laughing, you see, like this. Even your grief, you can laugh also. Hmm? I feel so stupid now. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just feel silly. <laughs> but if you're going to feel silly, at least enjoy, you know? <laughs> Because we can feel anything. We are, love, we, we are actors, we love to play. Everything is our play. From children we are doing it, and adults we are doing it. Yeah. You are the supreme, the perfect self, hmm? playing a game called, How can I find myself? Isn't it? What does Buddha have to say about it? What do you know, it doesn't even feel real. It doesn't. It's true because I thought you were speaking from this box just now. Was it? What? What? <laughs> Let's have a laugh about it, right? Now. <laughs> it just feels weird. Uh, weird. Could you say again? Something doesn't feel real. You say. Yeah. It yes. It just feels weird. Um, I can't put words to it. Mm. Just like. Like it's fake or something, or yes. I'm a fraud, or, or yes, something. Yes, we're all frauds, <laughs> all fake. <laughs> it is true. Uh, it's all fraud, all fake. Are you fake? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> It feels so good to talk to you, Muji. Yeah. <laughs> it feels good in my belly. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and in my heart. Very good. It feels 
like, you know, I felt that the heart had been closed for such a long time. Yes. And I felt that I'd built this wall around it. Yes. But since I came to Satsang yesterday, yeah. I felt that brick by brick, this wall was coming down. Oh. <laughs> but not in a sad way. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it again, aren't you? <laughs> I kept putting my hand up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it feels good. It feels good. It feels good. Very good. Okay. Feels like I've come home, Muji. Very good. And I've been searching for a long time. Yes. And I ended up <laughs> My parents were born in India. I've never been to India. And then... I ended up in Tiru and I didn't know what a satsang was. Mm. To me, satsang was where you go and sing. <laughs> when Buttons, you what? Where you go and sing. When you go and sing. Yeah, sing yeah. So. You can sing also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll run if I sing. <laughs> I would what? Run. Go and sing something. <laughs> Come on, just two lines. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've just seen the camera. <laughs> no, no, no. Come, no, come, no, no. come, come. Come, come. You're bigger than that. Two words, yeah? Oh, no, two lines, not two, two lines. words, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Om Shri. Mahadeva Om Shri Satchananda
Love. 